Quantum physics is weird, but it's just a description of how matter and energy interact at the single particle level. Quantum physics can also solve problems that would take centuries using typical computing. But I'm here to talk about the Mona Lisa. Current computers encode information as bits, a zero or a one, black or white. But if we encode information in quantum bits, we can store a zero and a one in a particle at the same time, holding more information. The problem is that currently access to qubits is, requires very complex equipment. And at the same time, even per particle, a qubit is often not enough. This has meant that quantum computing has largely not made the transition from laboratories and science fiction. What I want to tell you about today is how our work, making use of optical qubits, can enable practical quantum systems and at the same time even more information. So we make use of light at the smallest scale. It's particles called photons to store our zeros and ones. And this concept of a particle being two modes at the same time can be counterintuitive. But if you think of yourself, you are currently occupying an X and a Y coordinate in space at the same time. And this is exactly the same mathematics as for a particle. The difference being is that it can occupy an X and a different X simultaneously. This is known as quantum superposition. Now, the X's that we can make use of for photons can, for example, be its position in space. But since we're working with light, what we chose to use was its color and encode the zero and one as different colors of a photon. And there's no reason for us to just stick to a qubit of zero and one. We can make an optical qubit, a photon that is simultaneously red and green and yellow and blue. You get the idea. We went up to 10 colors, having that much more information in just a single particle. We we're also able to do this using a very practical means, generating the photons using just a silicon chip. But in order to manipulate the colors, to, to do information processing, do we require complex equipment? No. We borrowed standard equipment from telecommunications. So these are people who mix colors of light and fiber optics for a living in order to process and perform operations on the photons. So in summary, we created a system that you can take home and have an astounding amount of information in just a single photon. Our next work will focus on bringing this technology and pushing it towards even more meaningful quantum computing problems. But I think that we can agree. Quantum physics is still weird, but it looks better in color. Thank you.